hello welcome back to wing tutorials um, so if you are just joining us at this point please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and also do check out our playlist for other kcpe maths videos now question 17 says the field was to be fenced using 816 posts placed four meters apart leaving a four meter space for the gate if three strands of wire were to be used what would be the total length of wire required? Now, the first thing you need to know is that the fence is using about 816 posts placed 4 meters apart. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 816 times 4. So that is going to give me 816 times 4. 4 times 6 is going to give us um, 24. Carry two. Four times one is four plus two. That's six. Four times eight is thirty-two. So that's going to give me three two six four. Now remember also that um, they said leaving a four meter space for the gate. So to for the gate, I'm going to subtract four meters. That will now be three two six four minus four. So that will give me three two. Six zero. So it says if three strands of wire were to be used, what would be the total length of wire required? So for the fact that we're using three strands of wire, we'll now say for three strands. So we'll now do three two six zero multiplied by three. So when you multiply three two six zero by three, you're going to get three times six is eighteen. Carry one. Three times two is six plus one seven. And 3 times 3, it's going to give us 9. So my final answer is going to be 9, 7, 8, 0. So that's my final answer. So as you can see, the final answer here is C. So I'm going to circle my C. Now question 18 says in the figure below line SR is parallel to line TU. While line ST is parallel to line UV, line OS is equal to OT and angle RST is 42 degree. What is the size of angle TOV? Okay, so we are looking for that angle, angle TOV. Now, the first thing you need to see is um, RST is 42 degree, which is equal to STU. The reason the reason for this is because um, they are alternate angles. So they are alternate angles. You can see that the line here SR is parallel to UT. So this angle, this place is going to be forty-two degree. Now it said OS is equal to OT. That means this place is equal to this. That means um. SOT is isosceles, isosceles, I hope I got my spelling correct, isosceles triangle. Now, and you know that since it's an isosceles triangle, angle um, STO will be equal to angle TSO, which is equal to what? 42 degree. That means this angle here. It's going to be 42 degree. Okay. After establishing that for them to find um, angle SOT, uh, this is triangle SOT, sorry. Angle SOT, which is this angle here. So since we already know the two base, we'll do 180 minus, you subtract 42 plus 42. Why are we doing this? You remember that the sum angles in a triangle will give us what? 180 so that means 42 plus 42 plus angle sot is supposed to give us um 180 so when we subtract 42 plus 42 from 180 we get angle sot now 42 plus 42 is going to give us um this is 84 so 180 subtract 84 it's going to give us um this is 10 minus 4 that's 6 then 17 minus 8 is going to give us um um, 17 minus 8 will give us um, 9. So I think that's 96 degree. So that means angle SOT is equal to 96 degree. Okay. So now to now get 
Now look at this. If angle SOT is 96 degree, this is angle on a straight line. Therefore, angle T O V will be 180 minus angle SOT. Reason angles on straight line. So that's the reason. So angles on a straight line, which will be 180 minus 96. Now, when you subtract 180 minus 96, you're going to get, um, you borrow one from here, 10 minus 6 is going to give us um, 4. So we have 7 here. 17 minus 9, it's going to give us, um, that will be 8. So our final answer, that's going to be 84 degrees. So let's check our option to see if the answer is, a, oh, wow. So the correct answer here, it's going to be B. So you need to know all the angle rules for you to be able to solve this kind of question. Now, question 19 says, a salary, a sales lady earns a basic monthly salary of 15,000 shillings. So her salary, it's, um, salary, it's 15,000 shillings. Now it says, she also get a commission of 2% on the value of goods sold above 250,000 shillings. Now, commission is an extra benefit you get when you do some extra work in the company. So, she sells something extra, which is over 250,000. She gets 2% of the of whatever she sells. Now, it says in a certain month, she sold 10 television sets. Okay, so I think we have 10 TVs at at 26,000 remember that will give us what 260,000 when you multiply 10 10 TV times 26,000 okay so the next one we see here is five ref refrigerator at five refrigerator at at 30,000 so five times 30,000 that will give us 150,000 okay so the next one we see here is 10 microwave, 10 microwave at 16,000 each. So this would be 160,000. Okay. Then the next one we see it's one cooker, one cooker, and the one cooker was at 84,000. And um, another, another one cooker again, and that was for 52,000. Okay, so what we will do is let's sum this up. Now get what she sold extra. So this is going to be zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. So we have zero, zero, zero. Four plus two is going to give us six. So we have um, six plus five, 11. 11 plus six is going to give us um, 17. 17 plus eight will give us um, 25. And 25 plus five will give us um, 30. So this will be zero carry three so this will be three plus two five five plus one six six plus one seven so this was her total sales extra remember she they said she was being paid two percent on goods over two fifty thousand so since seven oh six thousand is greater than two fifty thousand we'll do two over hundred times seven oh six thousand so double zero we can see double zero so we have two times seven oh six so that will be um seven oh six zero times two two times zero will be zero two times six will be twelve two carry one two times zero is zero plus one two times seven will give us a um, fourteen so this gave us uh, she got a discount of fourteen thousand one hundred and twenty shillings for her sales now to now get her total earning commission gave us what 14 120 shillings so when you sum it up this will be her total earnings so that means her total earning was this will be 0 2 1 comma 5 plus 4 is 9 1 plus 1 is 2 so she got 29,120 shillings and the correct answer here it's a so I'll circle my a